Hi everyone at King's School, thanks so much for um, inviting us to speak. We made this little video so you can also see a little bit uh, about where we are. Uh, we're right now in England, um, but we hope to go back soon to Papua New Guinea, which is a country above Australia. And there we are missionaries among the Koval people group of um, yeah, the mountains. And um, there's 1,000 of them. Um, so it's a very small people group. They're very, very far away from town. So if they want to go shopping, they have to hike for two days and then take a four hour bus ride. And then um, they can buy something and then they have to carry it back all the way. So they'll have to put whatever they bought on the shoulder and hike for two days. Um, it's mountains, it's really hard work. So the Koval people are very um, remote, they're very poor, and they speak their own unique language, the Koval language. And so they've not heard the gospel because no one has taught God's word in that language ever before. So our job as missionaries is to learn that Koval language and then we're going to be telling them, um, yeah, what the gospel is. We'll be translating uh, the New Testament into Koval so they can read it. We have to teach them to read and write first. Well, even before that, we actually have to come up with an alphabet for them because their language is only spoken. No one's written it down before. Um, yeah, so there's a, a lot of work to do, but we're really looking forward to sharing the good news with them. How did you get to know Jesus, me personally? Well, um, Actually, I picked up uh, Gideon's New Testament. Um, they came to my school when I was in primary school in year seven, and they gave me a little New Testament. I started reading it, and I started at the beginning in Matthew, right all the way through. When I got to the end, I started over, and uh, yeah, through reading God's word, that's how I became a Christian. How do you explain the gospel to people in Papua New Guinea? We teach the Bible chronologically from Genesis. We start in Genesis one, and we teach all the way through, we just tell the story. Um, we tell the story of how God made man, but man rebelled, how God is pursuing man, God wants to um, help them with the problem of their sin, and only he can do that. And the Old Testament is just so full of stories that pick up this theme. So we follow that, then we get to the New Testament where we're able to introduce Jesus as the one who can rescue us from sin, so we do. Uh, a story-based approach from Genesis through to Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. How does it feel telling people about the gospel? It's just so good to be able to share good news. Life is so full of problems, and in Papua New Guinea we call them heavies. People have heavies all the time. It's just always something going on, always someone's hurting. And so it's so good to be able to tell them, hey look, God loves you. He sent his son. He cares enough about you to do that. He's paid for your sin through what he did on the cross. And for people who have nothing, um, like in Papua New Guinea, that is very exciting that we get to tell them that because they're so used to the fact that uh, we as the white people, they call us, um, we seem, we've been to school, we have so many things, they look up to us. And to tell them, look, God puts us on the same level. Christ died for me, Christ died for you. We are, we could be brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's really exciting. Do you go to church? Uh, well, actually we as a team on Sundays, we meet together. So our team is three families. And um, on Sundays we just meet together and we sing and we pray together and we listen to a message from the internet because um, yeah, there's, there are no churches around. We are in the middle of the jungle and um, <laughs> we're all that there is. Do you like telling people about Jesus? Do I like being a missionary? And um, yes, I do, but it's also hard. Um, we're not going because we don't like our lives here in England, we really do. And so it's hard sometimes to leave. And so missionary life is a mix of very positive, very good things. We get to travel, we get to see a lot of things, we get to learn whole new ways of doing things. We get to make friends with people in Kobol. We, we grow to really love and care for them. And we're always saying goodbye. So that's a hard part of missionary life. That, um, yeah, we, we say goodbye to our parents here, Oscar's grandparents. And um, yeah, we're always moving and it, it can be a challenge, but overall, yeah, we really enjoy it. Well, thanks for your questions. Um, hopefully I get to join you on Wednesday. Um, if not, then, 
hopefully this little video has given you an idea. Thanks, bye.